这几年我在威尼斯经常看到这一幅圣母像，不是原作，而是有大量的复制画和商品等。这幅圣母像的感觉和传统的圣母像有所差异，它比较像是凡人，也就是一般女子抱着小孩的一幅画。但画家在构图和意境上的刻意运作，所以这一幅成了威尼斯重要的圣母像。并入选了一八九七年第二届威尼斯双年展。原本对于这幅画只是一种熟悉感，但就在今年初收藏了一座很喜欢的陶瓷雕像后，当我在网络上查作者的资料的时候，意外发现小雕像的作家 Roberto f e l i c i 昵称是 Bobo， 他竟然是圣母像作家的孙子。这一个巧妙的连接让我觉得很有意思。他们的名字都叫做 Roberto f e l i c i 那我继续查下去，发现 Bobo 的儿子在威尼斯经营画廊，他的名字也是 Roberto f e l i c i 我想多了解这一个艺术家族，于是进行了采访。The last gallery I had was this gallery,、yeah. where I had my father painting things, and I had another gallery with antiques. Okay, mostly so work, yeah. Mostly works of art, North Italian works of art,、okay. and painting furniture from Renaissance to 19th century.、Okay. And he made, for example, this book. If I can show,、okay, sure. this was one of the book published, made the biggest retrospective made of my father works、yeah. in 2000. It's part of like a. Paint every day, so he has like a huge no, amount of the work. No, he painted more or more on the spot, so not in winter, not in autumn, not not in spring. But he was ready when it was、uh, warm enough.、Yeah. He could、okay. paint outside on the spot because he liked to catch the true color. Already, if you make a photograph, the color are no more the true color. But after his death, there is a photograph where we、yeah. see Alinari in his palace in Flore- Florence with this painting. Yes. Okay, and、uh, he made many、uh, photographs of this painting, and the photograph went around the world. Yes. So, and the people like so much, and、yeah. they send me all the time photograph from all the world,、yes. telling me they have the original painting, but the original painting is lost. And we still don't know where it is. So some art historian tried to understand,、yeah. uh, but it was impossible. Because this part and the painter crossing the time, I feel very happy. Also, it enriched my artistic journey.